Okay, so what am I up to at the moment? I have a piece of 1075 steel here, and what I'm going to do is something I've decided to call the metal grain test. Uh, I came up with that myself because I can't seem to find it anywhere. Um, I've got this piece of steel here is annealed. I'm going to make a bit of an incision down here and try and snap off a piece so that I can actually look on the end and see what the grain structure is like with the naked eye on an annealed piece of steel. Then I'm going to pop this in the forge, harden it up, dump it in a bucket of water to try and, you know, really stuff the metal, snap off another piece, uh, that should be nice and easy, and uh, see what the grain structure of that is. Then I'm going to anneal it three times over, each time doing the same thing, and hopefully I'll get a uh, nice line of uh, pieces of metal, and we'll see if we can actually visually see with the naked eye uh, what the grain structure changes are between annealed, hardened, and then normalized once, twice, and thrice. Okay, cool. Uh, first, just a couple of quick notes. One. Everything is in metric. So I've measured out 60 mils here. I'm going to be cutting it. Um, also, always remember eye protection, hearing protection, and oversized tools. Okay? Let's begin. Always let this slow down before you put it down and away. You don't want the blade skipping on something else. Alright, let's see if we can snap this. Okay, so as you can see, we made our incision along here and snapped this area here off. Um, took a little while, um, it was quite bendy, probably because it was uh, pre-annealed, um, but we actually got a bit of grain structure in here. So I'll take a good photo and uh, see what we can see with that. Okay, so we're all ready to get the forge started up. Uh, and once again, Remember eye protection here, hearing protection is not so as important, unless you're bashing away on the steel, I guess. Down. Steel should be nice and... Oh, sure wait, I can't really say that, can I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've actually turned the lights in the room on this time that we're in here. Um, I'm hoping a good blow or so, and uh, let's pray this snaps. <laughs> It snapped. That was good. <laughs> All right. So we'll see at this. Okay, so that snapped off really quickly. Uh, didn't even follow the line. I had the the uh, vice coming across about here, and uh, yeah, as you can see, it just came up on an angle. We've actually got some really good divots digging out here, which I'll be able to get a good photo of in a moment. And uh, where it hit the uh, concrete, it actually gouged a piece out of it. Um, so I'm really happy with this actually. Um, it's, a, it's a good difference to the annealed, uh, you can actually see it's, it's quite shiny instead of dull and uh, yeah really big big pieces so he's hoping the uh, 
normalising process will gradually change that and we'll see what the difference is. Okay, so this is where the gear you have can uh, influence how you do things. Um, I tried to use my um, digital thermometer to uh, regulate this to around about 850 degrees Celsius. Um, so I believe that's the temperature I should be going for for um, normalizing. Um, but I can't stop the gas getting in there too much so it pops straight up to a thousand uh, really easy. So I'm going to try and do this by eye. I'm um, looking to bring it up to, I believe it's just a, just, a, just above a light red. Uh, and then I'm going to pull it out, let it cool down, and uh, then we'll go through and try and snap it off and see if there's any differences. Right. Let's fire this up again. So we're all set up here again after uh, doing the first normalizing. Measured it out, got it back in the vise, and we're going to see what happens when we give it a strike. Uh, see how it goes. <laughs> well, that was quite different. Let's go outside and have a, uh, have a good look at it, eh? Okay, so just before we uh, snapped off the first piece of normalised steel, um, it actually took a little bit longer. It, well, it snapped almost straight away, but uh, it didn't come wanging off like the other one. Um, structure is actually quite different from uh, the other two. Um, definitely a lot duller than the uh, hardened one. Uh, one of the things that I have noticed, and I'll take a photo of it in a moment, you might be able to notice there is a black line along the bottom and a uh, silver line along the top. Uh, I'm not too sure what caused that at the moment. Um, it might be I had one side of the uh, bar in the forge with the gas going straight onto that, so it might have uh, done something there. Um, I just did the other one, it's cooling uh, it's over that way, and in a minute we'll do the test. Um, I tried to swap that one over, so we'll see if that had changed anything. Um, see how it does? That does. Alright, but it's uh, good to see I haven't actually hit these, you know, worked them rather. I've 
hit them with a hammer to break them. Haven't worked them at all, and we're getting a uh, a good structural change each time. Okay, got no idea how this close is going to go. Uh, this is normalizing number two. Uh, just trying to get the brake test. Let's see. There we go. Got it. We got there, eh? Cool. Let's go have a good look at that. Okay, so I've got normalization number two here, um, and it's actually really interesting. I've still got the uh, the black line on one side and the white line on the other. A little bit white down the bottom here, uh, but we've also got these little golden golden flecks going on. There is a definite change again from uh, the last one. Um, so we can actually see the grain structure visually with the eye is uh, changing each time we do something, and uh, it seems to be going back down again. So hopefully uh, we'll get the same again. Uh, I've got the last piece cooling down over there. And uh, in a moment we'll give that a break and uh, see how that goes. And then I might try try do a long soak with the last piece and uh, see if I can get it annealed all the way back down again. It's malleable. Right, let's go. Okay, uh, I'm not going to put the camera where I had it last time. That was a bit stupid. So uh, this is the last break for the normalized steel. Let's see how this goes. Oops. <laughs> oh, flip it That was a good break that time. Nice, that's getting a lot better. Cool, let's go outside and have a look at this. Ah, okay, that's uh, normalization three. It's actually really smoothing the steel back up again. The uh, silver line along the bottom starting to get a lot thinner. The black line is disappearing quite a bit. Uh, it was a lot harder to break, as you saw. Uh, one thing I have noticed is there is a bit more there's a bit of cracking, I didn't actually check that in the other ones, but uh, it's a lot harder to break, it's bending more. Definitely not as much as when it was annealed, so now I'm going to try and chuck that piece of steel into the um, forge again, and uh, anneal it. So whilst ow, <laughs> still about 200 degrees. <laughs> whilst annealing this, I um, I spotted there was a dark area which was up the top here, and a you know more heated area down the bottom. Uh, I spotted what it actually is is there's a bit of a crack running through here. Um, I'm going to guess it's something I did. Uh, you can see it on the other side too. Hopefully, uh, probably not so good. This is the best side to look at. Um, I'm guessing it's something to do with the fact I've been heating it and 
just snapping things sideways. Haven't exactly been too gentle with this metal. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that first and then uh, then go and bash this uh, bit and see if it's actually annealed back down properly. All right. Just getting rid of that crack now. Uh, I'm trying to stress it. I can actually see it forming. It's coming across quite a bit, isn't it? Uh, actually took quite a bit. Okay, so we've got our annealed piece of steel here. It's our last break. I uh, don't have too much left, so let's hope this works well. Uh, see what we get. Hopefully it'll be like it was the first time and actually a bugger to, uh, to snap. Looking good so far. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's looking good to me. Let's go have a look. Okay, so we're back outside with our uh, last piece of steel. Um, I'm actually going to say this is pretty bloody close structure wise looking at it. It's not quite the same. Um, you know, the, the first one that we bashed. Uh, actually bent quite a bit more um, but I'd say well on the way and the structural changes are fairly obvious.